This is Papa Brands Gaming coming at you with a tutorial on how to do the Mystery Interstellar Arcadian mod for the iArcade. The Mystery Interstellar Arcadian, abbreviated MIA for short, is a software build for the Team Encoder USB Enabler, Bankrupt Edition, which allows you to backup, restore, flash, and sideload ROMs and APKs to your iArcade to your Generation 1 cabinet. Now this only works for the original iArcades. I do have a video which I'm going to play that shows installing the board. It's basically very simple. And the first thing you need to do is to install the US USB enabler board. And I'm going to show that and we're going to talk about that first. And here it is. I'm going to show you how to install USB to your Gen 1 iArcade. Thanks to Team Encoder and a custom arcade, you can now add USB ports to your Gen 1 iArcade. Not only am I going to add USB port to my Gen 1 iArcade, I'm going to show gameplay of Operation Wolf and Operation Thunderbolt in action using this mod. It's so easy. It's so simple, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it and let's get it started. First up, turn your iArcade off. I actually went to the back and I unplugged it. Make sure there's no power going to the uh, motherboard that you're gonna plug this mod into. So make sure you're disconnected from electricity. I actually went to the back and just uh, disconnected the power. After that, Take out the screws, got one on each side. Once the screws are out, hold your glass so it doesn't fall out. Carefully take your glass out. There's your USB special board. Literally just plugs in. Just like plugging a cartridge in your 2600. It's pretty much idiot proof because the USB connectors are on the side. So you pretty much, I mean, thank you. It needs to be idiot proof because uh, if I can do it, anyone can do this mod. Let's see if I can figure out how to plug in a USB. Oh, there you go. And they supply a second USB C cable, which I also connected. Run those cables out through the front. And I have the send in plugged into one of the USBs and the USB C cable plugged into the other one. Time to uh, check to see if I have a working send in light gun. Check my gate switcher. Shout out to Glenn's Retro Show for making this amazing mod that allows you to go from a four-way to an eight-way gate. This is just a quick video. I decided to put a powered USB hub connected to the mystery encoder USB hack so that I could connect my send-in outside of the cabinet. Let's see if this works. Showing how I did the GRS mod. You can see, switches from four to eight. I had to make a little hole in the bottom. Putting an extension on the USB as well. It's working. This control panel's all been modded. These are all Samwa buttons. Power back on. I got my send in plugged in. Let's see if this mug works. Look at that. Working like a champ. How about that? Generation one I arcade using a send in. Time to slap my glass back in carefully. I actually ha had the screws in. I just had them a little loose so I could uh, put the glass back in. Hold it in place. Tighten your screws. Looking good. Make sure both sides are tight and your glass is in. And I'm going to try some Operation Wolf first. Let's see how this goes. Oh yeah, working great. Fantastic job, a custom arcade. 
and Team Encoder. This mod is so easy. I'm going to recommend everyone with a Gen 1 I arcade. You want to have this. There's going to be more coming down the road that will use this special uh, mod that's been made to increase the abilities of your I arcade. You try it with the uh, recoil on. You get the game started. Operation Thunderbolt running on a Gen 1. And looking good. There you have it. Couldn't be easier. You basically just plug it in and plug in the cables. I hope this has been helpful. This is just a quick video. I decided to put a powered USB hub connected to the mystery encoder USB hack so that I could connect my send in outside of the cabinet. Let's see if this works. Gather intelligence information. Okay, the next thing I want to do is let's look at the official instructions in case there was any confusion from my video. It's pretty hard to mess up, but we're going to we're going to look at the official instructions anyway. Okay, let me pull them up. I have my screen shared. And you'll see you order this from a custom arcade. It's very affordable and they shipped it pretty quick when they had it in stock. So, let me just start at the beginning. The Team Encoder iArcade USB Enabler. Okay, you're gonna take off the four screws in the back of your iArcade. Unplug the power, audio, and monitor cables from the back of the control panel. Remove the two screws securing the control panel in place. Gently remove the control panel from the iArcade bar top. Okay, you basically, like what I did is I decased my uh, motherboard. I found that was easiest for me. I also did the Glenn's uh, GRS four-way to eight-way uh, gate switcher mod. So in my case, my, my uh, motherboard was already decased because I needed space for the, the other mod I did. Um, let's see here. Locate the two 10-pin headers on the iArcade main board. This is the location where you install the Team Encoder iArcade USB enabler. And you'll see they've done really well. All this uh, information is available online. I'll put some links in the description of this video. Basically, this is where you're gonna plug the piece you get from a custom arcade in, USB enabler, okay? Arrow points to the edge. I mean, this is pretty idiot-proof. Even, even Papa Brad was able to do this. This is basically plugging something in. If you've ever plugged in a Nintendo cartridge or an Atari cartridge, it's basically no different. You basically line it up and plug it in. At this point, the hardware installation, our hardware, ah. So you basically plug it in with the arrows pointing to the edge. At this point, the hardware installation is complete. Two USB ports are used for the following pur purposes. Used to connect the team encoder, mystery interstellar Arcadian software for Android USB debugging. And the host port, that was the device port. The device port is what you connect to your computer to do the uh, software. The host port is used to create uh, connect USB devices like send in light guns, USB controllers, etc. I do have a video, a short of my channel, showing how to hook up the light guns, showing the light guns working with a Gen 1 cabinet, playing Operation Thunderbolt and Operation Wolf. It's very simple. If you're running two light guns, I, re I recommend getting a powered hub. Okay, route uh, the USB cables through one of the vents for easy access to the USB ports. Reinstall your iArcade bar top by following the same directions in reverse. We're gonna go to teamencoder.com backslash Mia to get the mystery interstellar Arcadian when it's available. Team Encoder will provide support for the software via Discord. You need to join their Discord server. I'll put a link in the description to this video. Once you've joined, make sure you navigate to the hashtag roles channel and then select IRCade Mystery Interstellar Arcadian Role. 
Additionally, make sure you've read the rules before talking and speak in an appropriate channel when seeking help. And the instructions are with this. Okay, so that's the first part is installing the USB enabler.